Greetings! I'm Undone Builder, and a friend recently asked me to rig a 3CPO forum, as you can see I've done here. And this inspired me to make a video on how to custom rig things on Roblox Studio, since this is something a lot of people have challenges with. So, you'll first want to have what you want to rig. In this case, it'll just be a 3CPO. Now, when you're doing this, you want it to be as few parts as absolutely possible. Ideally, each section that you want to move will be one part. If it can't be, then what you'll have to do is to weld them together. But ideally, they'll be one part. Once you've done that, and you've got your basic rig, I will pro provide a set, in, which I'll link in the description, which will include a fancy little pivot part here. And you're going to take this pivot part, and you're going to move him to where you want the joints. As you can see, I've got a foot here, and I've got a lower leg here. I want there to be a joint between these two. So imagine the center of this part, and that'll be where the, it pivots. So you want to move it approximately where you want it. And then you do that for every single joint. As you can see, I've done here. Every joint has a little blue thing in between it. Pretty simple. Then I will provide in the description a link to this plugin, Motor Creator. Very nifty. And you'll open up the Create Motor 6D. It's quite simple. Uh, I usually start with the torso. And you click on it. You'll see it says Part 0. Hit Done. And I'm going to move down the leg. So I'm going to choose this. And that'll be Part 1. And the pivot point. You click on the joint you've placed in between those two. And hit Done. And now this plugin has created for you a joint between those two objects. Simple as that. Now a key thing to remember is you'll is that the order is extremely important. Uh, for example, you'll notice this was part zero and this was part one. Well this means if I move uh, this torso, the leg will move with it. However, if I move the leg, the torso, torso won't move with it. So it's very important you keep the order correct. Once that's done, then there's one final step you need to do. I will provide in the pack a humanoid and a humanoid root part. You'll simply group all of it together and include and copy into the model the humanoid. Don't have to do anything else with that. Then you'll take the humanoid root part and you will resize it to, as I've done here, approximately the torso. It's invisible and it'll basically be the hitbox of your NPC. Not important for much, depending on size, but important that you have it. So then when you open up Mission Studio, you can select it, and you have a wonderfully rigged little fellow. And as you can see, as I mentioned before, when I move this leg, the torso does not move. But when I move the torso, the leg does move. So keep in mind the order in which you do it. And it's as simple as that. It's really easy. I'm Undone Builder. Please like and subscribe.